but yeah maybe I should start touching blocked up doors on churches now as a new thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's very blowy today, not as blowy as the last video from the South Downs, where my head just went all over the place. <laughs> but I'm here, I do apologise, I brought you back to a church. I was here only two years ago, but it's part of a couple of churches I want to do today. Uh, I'm in Stoke de Arbenham near Cobham in Surrey, and I'm at the oldest church in Surrey, which is St Mary's at Stoke de Arbenham, just next to Parkside School. Now, parts of this church, started being built in the seventh century during the Saxon period the seventh century not long after Christianity was introduced to uh, England via Augustine so yeah it's an absolutely incredible piece of history and sorry about the noise in the background that's the M25 we're right by the M25 A3 is that way which you can't hear but yeah it's very 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 loud so let's have a quick look Now I've said before, there's so many churches going to be the oldest here and the oldest there. You know, did they have Saxon origins? Does that give it its longevity? But when you've got churches with the original material from a Saxon church, like here, that gives it the longevity that it deserves. So this, yeah, so this south wall, parts of it were built and it's still here since the seventh century. That's remarkable. There was a Roman villa nearby when this was being built, the remains of an old Roman villa, and the Saxons plundered, plundered it for the old tiles, stones, and bricks. So some of the old Roman villa are in this church right here. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? You can also see some of the craftsmanship and the workmanship um, that the Romans did on the stone. It's incredible. There's organ playing going on. I tell you, visitors are only allowed in like Saturdays and Sunday afternoons. Maybe they're just having a practice. If the doors open, I might try and sneak in. They might say, no, no visitors today, no visitors today. doors locked so if they are practicing in there then not let no one in <laughs> let it the ghost of course of course this church is famous for its uh, brass tombs that were put there in 1325 and 1350 and they're the oldest brass tombs in the country that's why this church is very famous when they do open it up a lot of people come to see it um, I'll link in a photo below because I obviously I can't get in. Such a shame. Such a shame. Now I know I've gone about old doors, but can I start doing old bricked up doors? How about that? <laughs> How's that sound? Make a change to the uh, to the norm. I mean I can touch a that looks actually very modern this this door here that leads into the church there's two entrances but yeah maybe i should start touching blocked up doors on churches now as a new thing so just a quick revisit 
to the church in Stoke de Arbenham, the oldest church in Surrey, probably one of the oldest in the country. Oh, just in time for the bells to be ringing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, thank you Bells. So now I'm gonna head off into Cobham and visit a church. I was supposed to visit a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't because I was a bit delayed. So I'm gonna to go to St Andrew's Church, uh, just by Downside, let's go. this out fantastic uh, church style house circa 1432 rebuilt 1624 now there is an old door an old door wow just outside the church there's building of historic interest it says there amazing I've said this before in other videos you try and get a picture of a nice old building or something and there's always just cars parked in the way there's so many cars now I mean I'm a driver come on but yeah just want to get a nice sometimes just a nice clean picture but you can't well that's one impressive uh, tomb Mary Ann Coombe died 8th of August 1861, aged 73 years, that's her, uh, and her husband I think, aged 74 years in 1858. Wow, that's amazing. Very unusual to see something this size in a churchyard. Okay, let's start off this trend, this new trend, touching a blocked off door with modern brickwork, obviously, but a blocked off door. Excuse the noise, we're right by a, a busy road. This is the Chapel of Peace. I love this little building, Chapel of Peace. This used to be an 18th century mortuary. And then the captain of the bell tower, after a visit to the Holy Land in 1998, converted it into a little chapel. Isn't that nice? I think it's still used, actually. Um, I doubt it's gonna be open now, but uh, yeah, little Chapel of Peace, isn't that lovely? seems a very modern church inside there's people here chatting away so I can't really uh, take the time to indulge you too much um, look at these lovely organ pipes fantastic organ pipes and uh, if you're into a bit of the old uh, Christian rock um, or just maybe for service it's rather nice A nice lady here has just shown me some medieval treasures. This is a parliament possessed, I can't pronounce it properly. Uh, it's a parchment or other service on which later writing has been superimposed or effaced early writing. It's one sided dating from 1510. You can actually turn it around as well. Look at that. Um, that way. You can turn it around. Haha, <laughs> that brilliant. Yeah, one side shows a man of armour in 1550, possibly James Sutton. A bailiff of the manor. The other side shows the tortures. A tonsured priest 
uh, investments of 1510. That's amazing. I think this is pretty unique. She showed me this as well. A nativity brass from circa 1550. Probably a unique representation brass of the ad adoration of the shepherds and part of a larger composition, which is probably understandable. The remainder of it, which is now lost. But look at that. That's incredible. Circa 1550. Really nice atmosphere in this church, really nice atmosphere. So it's an ancient church, there's a lot of modern uh, parts to it. Like all churches mainly. Yeah, it's lovely. I think I said the main body of this church is 13th century, but who's to know what's on the site beforehand, which I keep on saying. It's uh, William Henry Cooper who died at Ryde in the Isle of Wight, 1840, in the 53rd year of his life. So much history is found in these places, so much history, especially nice if you've got someone here who uh, is either a volunteer or works here, and they can fill in some of the, uh, some of the gaps in your knowledge, because you can only get so much off Wikipedia or a church. A church's website usually is pretty thorough. But yeah, it's really, really nice, really, really nice. I will link my videos from Paints Hill Park and uh, Ockham Common as well below, as it's all in the area. Oldish door alert, probably Victorian, I would think. Yes, yeah, speaking to the couple of ladies, I think the volunteers are very, very, very nice. I've taken my YouTube channel details. Um, it is lovely. Nice and people are friendly, isn't it? They're saying that chapel we just looked at, uh, the earlier one that used to be the mortuary, they, they usually do services there on Easter morning, uh, at the crack of dawn and the, the sunrise and everything, is absolutely spectacular, so that'd be something to see, if I don't like early mornings. Okay, this is what we're going to do now. I've just had them phone me up actually, we're going to go over to the plough, over at Downside, and we're going to have a pub lunch. Thank you, St Andrews. Lovely church. Well, that was a lovely pub lunch in the Plough, the Plough Inn, very, very nice. Oh, it was delicious, really delicious. So what went on? Okay, you see that? All right, what happened was I dropped my phone on the floor, I went to pick it up and bashed my head on the table next to me on the right on the edge of the table. Ouch. A little bit of blood. So I ran up and said, you got any plasters, please? Um, yeah, so it was, ouch. Silly me, silly me. Um, and that was before um, any food or anything so yeah anyway um, hope you've enjoyed the video and um, it's been interesting coming to a couple of churches in Cobham if you have liked the video please like subscribe all the normal stuff and we'll see you next time take care mm -hmm.